Good morning. I'm uh, getting ready. I just want to show you guys. Check these shelves I did yesterday. Whoa. Those shelves. Yeah. I'm a handyman. But today's a big day. Why? Because I'm taking over the whole gym. If you didn't see my first video of building a home gym, you know, do the clicks. Go check that out. This is taking over the rest of the gym. Today I'm painting, adding a barn door, adding a TV. I'm ready to get freaking double stuffed Oreos in the gym this morning because it's going down. Taking over home gym expansion. Let's go. So I have half the gym over here right now and then this side open. I'm gonna paint the rest of this. I'm gonna put up this big sliding deal here. I'm gonna put up a TV with an articulating mount. I'm gonna put up a new light. This whole thing's about to get doubled in space, so let's go. Also another fun additive. Fit 8 sent me a refrigerator stacked out full of gear. So we got all kinds of Fit 8 in there for when I'm getting thirsty. Also for all you that care, this cost me about 40 bucks. Paint for the walls and I did a flat finish instead of the mat because we're moving away from the mat. All the gear I already had so I didn't spend any money on the paint stuff. This wall mount is from Costco. It comes all the way out. It's about 60 bucks on sale right now. The light cost me about 60 as well. Got the LED version of this because I hate fluorescent bulbs. This was 120 bucks but it's in sale at Lowe's right now. That's the hardware for the sliding barn door that I'm gonna put on this, which is reutilizing this so I don't have to pay for a door that's like a hundred and something bucks. If you do that, that one would be cool. We're in it for a little bit. The RPM gear they sent to me. This is a 43 inch TV that was again my roommate, so we didn't have to buy that, but you can get one off Facebook Marketplace for like 150 bucks. It's not too expensive, especially if you already have some gear and you're just going to Costco and to Lowe's and Home Depot to get what you need. So painting's not hard, but it's a prep work that's nuts, so I just kind of skipped over it. All right, the wall's painted. Wasn't so bad. My supervisor here did a great job hanging out. What the dog doing? This speed. Clean off my brush. I just learned this from Bob Ross. Just take your brush and just beat the devil out of it. Just oh yeah. Beat the devil out of it. This door is 54. Well, it's not a door. I don't know what it is. A window pane. It's 54 inches wide. Perfectly covers our hole. But this, the setup, all the mounting stuff for the barn door, says you can only go up to 72 inches. Here's the little rolly wheels, right? Normally you wanna put those on the outside so it doesn't wobble or whatever. But if I bring them in a little bit, I might be able to play with this space so it works because otherwise you gotta go buy a whole nother one of these and I don't wanna do that. I know what satisfying content y'all came for. <laughs> Looks like it's adult Legos time because I got the pieces for the TV mount, I got the pieces for the pull-up bar, and I got the pieces for the bracket. And I need to put them on in an order that when I open this door, I don't hit the other ones. All right, pro tip whenever hanging up anything that you need to be level and straight, I got the pull-up bar here going in and I want them to be uh, straight up and down and then level across. The little pro tip move is, First off, find your studs, right? Screw in the top up here, and then that bottom can wiggle, and then you're not worried about, still can move left to right. Then take your level, come up next to it, and if you can see here, I can focus on just slightly moving this till the bubble is centered, then go in and throw screw in. Now you can just come back in and throw screw in. <laughs> this cool moment here on these little uh, Allen keys. I was uh, trying to get the Allen key and I grabbed metric and then I remembered everything in RPM is made in America. So it's standard. Let's go RPM for making everything in America. All right, bar is up. We still got the TV and the barn door to go, but we're in. Oh yeah. I'm like, oh, but it's not high enough. Let me adjust it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's too low. Oh my. So sick. So I'll probably keep it somewhere around here. For your boy! Holy smokes! It fits perfect. Woo! How's the height bro? What are the chances of that? Okay, we got the header in up there. You can't even see it because I blacked it out. And I know what content you guys came for. <laughs> What did I learn today? People are nosy, dude. My neighbors just keep walking in and staring in the garage like, I'm like, yeah, I'm building something, dude. I'm not gonna wait for this to dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this up while it's wet with paint. So this could be a good or bad idea, let's find out. Again, I'm going with this technique of putting one in, and then once you put one in, you can then, uh, you can put one in and then you can make it level. So just get one screw in and go from there. But these are these big toggle bolts. So I got a pre-drill and on the wet paint, this is gonna be sweet. Oh, it's on my hand, gross. Whoa, whoa, whoa almost ate crap. 
We're back. Super important that this thing's level because if you don't put your slider on level, then the door's going to sag and always open up or always close. We took a little dinner break and now we're back at it. So for this door or this whatever it is to become a door, you're gonna need to drill holes through it. I'm gonna have to put holes through here to put the housing and always pre-drill your hole. So I did that. Now it's time to drill the big daddy hole. Well, as bad as I wanna keep going on this thing, I can't put the TV up tonight because I have to use the impact, which is super loud. It's like, and it's getting too late. So I'll have to pick it up tomorrow, but check this thing out. Oh my God. Of course I gotta flip the photos so that they're, um, so you can see them, but we got the full on barn door, automatic close on that thing. <laughs> Day two, let's build. So when I do a lot of this build, I do a lot of this stuff off camera that you guys don't want to see, like finding the stud on the wall over here, marking my holes. So this thing is gonna go up super easy this morning for the bracket for the TV. And um, like wiring the light last night, getting all that ready to go. So I just put in some screws. So there's some stuff I do off camera. No, it's maybe not as easy as it seems, but it's really not that hard. Anyways, let's get the build going. Full disclosure on all my builds, this is definitely not the most electrically sound way to do this. I'm just going to drill into that sideways and then run the line over to my other one so I can steal power from it. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know. All right, moment of truth. I need that light to turn on and the one that's precariously balanced over there too. Whoa, double light action. So we got the lights in, we got the TV in, we got the pull-up bar in, we got the sliding barn door and we got the fed a fridge in. I'm getting the floors, put those in, and then it's time to work out. Whoa. Last night I reached out to Ron Wad, the homies over there said, hey, we'll put a couple years of credit on your program too, so we can all come in here and stretch and get that workout in as well. Everything's in, cleaned up, now I just gotta get the floors. I'm gonna go to Tractor Supply and pick those up now. I need seven more. Can you pull this one here forward a little bit? <laughs> well dang, that's the hardest part is Fitting them in your RAV4. Milton here, tractor supply, didn't think we could do it. Oh, papi chulo. A little optimism, and here we are. Seven of them in the back, heading back to the crib, let's go. Since my garage is a little catty cornered weird back here, all I'm doing for the extra is I'm overlaying it. As you can see, like, and then I'll just mark it there, mark it over there, I'll cut that beast and it'll fit in there. One more cut with the extra of that, and boom, the whole floor's done. Home gym's done, floor's in. Extended all the way, walls painted, new gear. Let's go through it now. Let me show y'all what we got. First off, this may be the coolest thing I've ever made. This is all Kyle's photos he's taken in other countries on mission trips. And I guess it was a window, not the sliding barn door. Yeah. And there's enough clearance to fit our 42 inch TV. Fit a fridge underneath, iPads going under there. On this screen, we're gonna be watching the RPM workouts. Blast it on here, watch that hour long, easy. Put that in three different levels. So if you wanna get a home gym, if you're thinking I wanna have a home gym too, go to RPM. 1500 bucks is the most expensive one. They have cheaper ones, but you get everything you need and you get a subscription to use the workouts. And then here's some of the other stuff we got going. Put the RPM on the rings, a blacked out barbell, maybe the coolest thing in here. All the bumper plates you need, everything for fives, tens, 15, 25, 35s, and 45s come in my set that I got. Uh, all these different strengths bands for stretching out or um, doing assisted pull-ups and other things. Like you got, you get your, RPM jump ropes, which are my favorite for shizzle. You got the RPM box jump, the rounded corners here so you don't ruin your shit when you make it on that. And uh, I mean, the gym is sick, so go to RPM if you wanna get the home gym. Also comment below what you guys wanna see, workouts, challenges, I'm taking on some wild ones. I'm about to go to Italy and uh, try to break a world record. I'm coming back to do the deadlift 500 run sub five challenge. This year's gonna be wild. A bunch of strength work going down in here. Oh, lighting though. Oh my. Oh my God, oh, oh, focus, focus. Yeah, if you guys are in the Houston area and you wanna come train, come on out, say what's up, and uh, we're getting it in. This is the coolest extension, the home gym, and uh, some of the coolest things we've ever built. Also, go ahead and hop over and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.